Well, hello everybody. This is Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters and it's another week of new typewriter listings. Yay! And today I have a 1960s Electra 120. Very nice. And we have repainted this one. This is not the original color. So it's repainted in berry pink and it's beautiful. A great idea for a graduation gift, might I say. Okay, let's take a look at how to use this 60s Electra 120. This one happens to have the black front and then the nameplate is over here on the right side. That's gonna be where the power um, indicator light is going to be. The 70s version has a different front on it. Okay, so let's start with the back. Back here, you're gonna find a paper holder your margins are set by pressing down these tabs. So you just go back and forth. And then you'll notice that this carriage is wider than the typewriter. This is a 12 inch carriage, which comes in handy for crafters only because you might wanna use bigger paper. So you can uh, get typewriter paper that's, that's larger. And so if you're into all of that, then the big carriage might be good for you. But if you're just using regular printer paper that you can get at Walmart or any other uh, office supply store, then you don't necessarily need a bigger carriage. Okay, to move this carriage, you have two carriage release levers right here and you just, doesn't matter which one, you just press it in and there you can move it. Now the carriage is gonna move as far as you have the margin set. So if we bring these in, now the carriage is only gonna move this far. And you can hear has a very strong bell, very nice. Okay, right here is your paper release. On this side is your line selector, one, two, and three. What that means is when you get to the end of your line, that bell goes off and says, hey, you're at the end of your margins, time to hit that return lever. Go back to the beginning and it's gonna advance one, two, or three lines for you. Okay. Let's move this carriage over to the left because I'm gonna open the top and I don't want my handle to scrape my beautiful paint. So now we'll just pull that open. Inside, you'll see this escapement area. This is your spools. And we put in a new ribbon in all of our typewriters when we service and clean them. Yes, we do some repairs, but we do not take apart our typewriter. So it is so important if you have not watched the video on the difference between serviced, um, refurbished, and restored, please watch that so you have appropriate expectations. Okay, so new ribbon, it's a universal ribbon. And uh, this is a two color, and if you switch it out with another two color, make sure black is on top, red is on bottom. And then make sure it is threaded through these guide wires. I have an up close picture of this, and you can find it on the product listing below. By the way, while we're talking about what's in the description, please give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe bell, and then also visit the links in our description. And for those of you, most of my viewers watch this just to learn how to use their typewriter, and I'm so glad this helps you. But you could really help us support our channel by purchasing something from our website, such as typewriter pads, we have ribbons, we have puzzles, we have covers. Um, if I didn't do these videos for everybody, I could double my typewriter business. So your support of our website is greatly appreciated. Thanks so much. Okay, back to the ribbon. When you get to the end of the ribbon, it's not the end of the ink, it needs to be reversed. And our ribbon does need to be reversed manually. You do that right here, where it says rib rev. And so you flip that, it doesn't matter which way, just whichever way it needs to be. And you can reverse the direction of that ribbon many times before you need to change it. That ink's gonna last you a long time. Okay, down here on the keyboard, this is your tab. You set your tab here, you clear it, color selector, power switch, and yes, by the way, you do need to plug this into a wall. This is an electric 
typewriter with a manual return. So if you do not have an outlet nearby, that might be an issue for this tape writer uh, because you don't use batteries or chargers on it. Okay, let's go ahead. We're gonna turn this on, load some paper, and we're gonna do some typing. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some typing and just put your paper right here. And... There we go. I had it a little too far over and you could feel, I could feel it as soon as I scooted it over. So I think you, what you have to do is not, is load it where it's fairly close to that margin. I had it too far over. Okay, this is, you can see my paper's crooked. So your paper release is right here. You pull that forward and there you go. Straighten it out. Got my margins. And then, um, yes, make sure your paper is underneath this metal bar. Turn it on, your power switch is right here. Here's your tab. You set and clear your tabs. We talked about the ribbon reversal. There's a half space down here, regular space and power space. And then also, before we get started, because I always forget, there's three keys that have an auto repeat, and that's gonna be your dash, your period, and your X, okay? And you just hold them down and they'll auto repeat. Okay, let's go ahead. And this is a 1960s. So throw on Electra, one plane. And if you look at that, you'll see, oh, why the letter drop below? Um, I was typing too fast and was uh, not shifting in, um, in proper coordination, so let me slow down just a little bit. It's a habit that I have. It's user error, not typewriter error. So 1960 with Chroma Electra 120. And you'll see it's much better. I just, when I start moving fast, I start shifting and releasing shifting um, as I'm typing and it um, it's sloppy typing. That's all it is. gonna be great for kids. Art journaling, crafters, college students. Very nice. Technically it's considered a portable, but I find these electrics to be uh, pretty heavy. It does have a carrying case. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so remember how I said when you get to the end of your spool, you need to reverse the direction of your ribbon? Wow. How do you know you're at the end of your spool? If you take a look, it felt different when I was typing, so I looked up and noticed my font is really faint and that my ribbon, let me see if I can open this up for you, is pulled really tight. So if you watch this ribbon, when I hit ribbon, I'll I'm gonna switch the ribbon reversal up. Just watch that ribbon. And there it released right away. So now it's gonna go the other direction. So let's do that last line again. And some typewriters will actually just stop on you and some just get really light like that. So every typewriter is a little bit different. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about. So let's type some sentences. Let's do the red. Okay, there's that bell. And normally that would tell you, hey, hit the return handle and go to the next line. But um, I'm gonna show you the margin release. So I'm gonna keep going. Okay, so now it's gonna stop on me. So I'm gonna hit MR. 
and I can keep going. Okay, so this types very well. Um, it's great for students, art journaling, like I said, letter writing. Um, I would say light to medium use. I think you could type, you could type a book on this, but it is a little loud for extended use, in my humble opinion, okay? So I'm just being honest. It types really well, but I find the process to be really loud. So I wouldn't want to spend like two or three hours a day typing on this. Um, but if it's like a letter, a short project, a, a little school report or something like that, it's going to be just fine. So thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all the links in the description below and have a wonderful day.